Hey Beertubers, Ryan here back with another episode of San Diego Beer Vlog. Thanks for joining me. Got the latest release from Carl Strauss here. I just got done brewing. I'm hot and sweaty. want a refreshing beer. So thankfully they finally put out in 12 ounce bottles their Wind and Sea Weed Ale. Now this is actually a Bavarian style Hefeweizen. So that is awesome. There are not a lot of breweries in San Diego that make a Bavarian style Hefeweizen. And this has been a draft only beer for them for a long time. And now they finally have the capacity to put it out in bottles. And unlike pretty much every other uh, Carl Strauss beer, this one is, and unlike every, almost every other Carl Strauss beer, this one's unfiltered. There is yeast on the bottom. I'm trying to get it all in there. Looks like I'm going to be able to get most of it. Uh, they sent me the spec sheet on it. It is 5.1% ABV, 12 IBUs, and 3 SRM. So, pours out, looks like, yeah, just a really, really, really hazy orange color, just straight up uh, typical German style Hefeweizen, cloudy as can be. Uh, had about a finger of just bright white head on there. Uh, good solid carbonation coming up from the bottom as well. Let's get the aroma. This one's got a really nice balance, I think, between the different characteristics you get from Hefeweizen yeast. You get banana, you get that sort of citrusy wheat note, a little bit of a fruitiness in there, kind of like a, a peach or an apricot kind of. Uh, I would say it's more banana forward though than uh, clove, but you do get a little bit of clove. And and there's a little bit of bubble gum in there as well. So it's kind of got everything you want in a nice Bavarian half. So uh, I am thirsty. Let's dig in. Cheers. Oh, that's refreshing. Almost took too big of a swig there, but I'm getting a lot more uh, banana on the flavors. It's got that bready, uh, you know, that wheat, slightly citrus thing going on that makes it kind of drink, you know, like typical, just like banana bread beer almost. Because it's got, it's definitely has that kind of ripened banana character. That's definitely the forefront. There's a little bit of that clove spiciness underneath to kind of support it. So maybe they're using the like Weichsfahner yeast strain on this one. It's got a good light mouth feel. Nice carbonation to kind of move things forward. Some sweetness up front, some real kind of bready sweetness. And then it balances out fairly dry on the back end. So if you're a fan of very banana heavy forward Hefeweizen, I think you're really gonna enjoy this one. I mean, there's a lot of banana character that kind of develops midway through through the finish. Once you start getting towards the end of the finish, you start to pick up a little bit of bubblegum notes. And like I said, there's a bit of fruitiness up front that kind of helps with the sweetness. Dries out, you know, nicely. It's very refreshing, clean kind of beer. And it, it, I think it's one of the best American Hefeweizens I've had. Not quite as good as Live Oaks Hefeweizen, which I just recently had. That one is uh, phenomenal. I think that's up there with the best of the German ones. And uh, this is better than some of the ones I had when I was over in Germany on my trip. So I highly recommend this one. I'm looking forward to this coming out in six packs because I'm, I'm going to buy them up, especially as it's warming up here. I don't know if you can tell, but I'm sweating after this brew day. It's been the upper 70s, so this is a great beer for that kind of weather, San Diego weather. I'm surprised more breweries don't brew this. I wish they would, but a nice Bavarian style Hefeweizen, wooden seaweed. I'm going to give this one A-. I think it's an excellent example of the style. It's just not quite up there with the top tier stuff. So thanks Carl Strauss for sending this one out, and I'm looking forward to buying more. Until next time, please comment and subscribe. Cheers.